okay like this. I'm trying to fiddle with my overhead. It's not perfect yet. So I'm fiddling with it. And I've got the microphone plugged in. And I'm just going to sit myself down and walk you through my April flip through of my journal here. So I'm going to sit down, hopefully. See, now I can't really see what's going on, but I can see my pages. So hopefully that's good. <laughs> So, um, so as I was saying, or I've mentioned this before on Instagram, I was experimenting with printing in a kind of a block style because I thought it looked pretty. And I didn't even notice like on here, I didn't print. It was in all capitals. It was just normal printing. And I didn't even notice that. Um, what was this? What am I, what am I talking about here? <laughs> Oh, something terrible that I found out about Iran it's in the news, it's doom scrolling. And yeah, so this is the beginning of April, teaching days, um, summer projects. And I do, of course, like the look of this. I don't like what happened here, which is a little bit of a bump because of what I did on the next page, which is just a sample of my new washies that I did like to do. I just kind of put them all on here to see them and I love them all. Um, they're kind of like all over the place stylistically, but I think I am all over the place stylistically, so it kind of fits. I like the muted colors. I like the cutesy kawaii. I like anything with cats. I do like the stars. I like these kind of, I mean, I like them all. <laughs> they're all me. And I'm kind of moving into a slightly sort of more commonplace -y type or just kind of putting everything in here that I want to put in here and not worrying too much about having for example a blank page right here that probably will just say blank maybe I'll do something else with it I'm not sure I'm not going to worry about it so yeah that's what's happening this is my Easter spread and I actually kind of like it it's it's more going towards the cutesy with all these cute stickers that I have and these um rub on ones too that I do like yeah I like this one um yeah just kind of going through the month here um mm -hmm. not much youtubing going on because i'm so busy extremely busy morning so far mainly due to mr t mr t had teeth p pulled and didn't rebound on his own we had to get him some quite expensive antidepressants or something some kind of drug that helped him rebound uh, the the first those of them made him feel better and i as always when you're very connected to your cats we were kind of upset about the fact that he wasn't rebounding but then he did so that's that's fine uh yes listening to clarissa has been a big thing in my life these past weeks it's extremely moving stuff and this is what i mean by the more just post like t taping in a pretty postcard that i like and even going so far as to putting stickers on the postcard, like what a concept. Um, and then of course, I'm gonna move away from the print thing because it was just not always what I felt like doing. And I think that's okay too. So here I'm still printing, but it does feel a little contrived, a little artificial. So not to say that when I, I wanna write neatly, so that's already kind of artificial, I don't scribble, but writing cursive is just more what I normally do. So I wrote here, today I don't feel like either printing or creating a block. So I didn't. And it's fine. It's all fine. I like this page too. I should. I, sh I don't like really putting the tape here. I should have put it down here and then put the stickers in. But it doesn't matter. Um, that's that. Already moving in. Of course I'm always going to miss some days here. And this is a very nice spread too. I like it too. I mean here I actually don't mind that the tape's up here and not down here. It's fine. I do like these cute tapes that I got from the store in New York. It, I think they're all Japanese um, stickers. Yes, sciatica. Oh my gosh, it got really, really bad. Yes, this was my sciatica weekend of pain. A deep, deep pain that only was resolved after being prescribed oral steroids. And that's the only thing that got me through the last days of teaching. I had to cancel two days because I was in such bad pain. It started on a Friday. This is the Thursday. It started there a little bit, but then it kind of got really bad. 
and then it got better with the help of drugs <laughs> and yeah we're already at the end of april short month so here's an example of a nice spread that i'm really happy with this is a quote from a textbook on art because i really like this um uh metal sort of bowl this i guess it's a um a an, an art object from way back in the day, proto-elamite. I don't know anything really about it. Very, very old. But what I liked about the story about it, first of all, I really just like the bull. I mean, I love the fact that it looks like it's wearing a dress. <laughs> I just love it. I just, this is how I am with art. I just, so there are a few objects that I just feel really, really drawn to. And, but even more so the history behind it, the fact that it has no provenance that it's, it's an actual artifact from olden times, but we know nothing about it. For some reason, I think that's even more cool, <laughs> the fact that we don't know much about it. And so it has, and these, the textbook has a nice little write-up about these objects that don't have a provenance, and what, how do you categorize them? And I just thought it added to the bull's charm. And so I thought, what the heck, I'm going to re copy it out with the, the source here. It's just a textbook of Western art and I like it it's going to be in my book forever and then I decided what I would do here is just paste in a little thank you note from a student who wrote me the most kind note at the end of class fairy tale class about how much she had enjoyed the class and I thought what the heck I'm gonna put it in here as a thing to remember sort of as it happens as it happens um, and this is I think the last April spread Kind of had a lot of space here and i was thinking about what i would do with it i'm a little unhappy with the fact that this got stickered in a little bit crookedly like it should be a little bit more that way but that's okay let's see it was a strange middle of that day intense mental space i was in so yeah this has to do with the fact if you watch my video about my sciatica <laughs> health issues um, being on oral steroids prednisone to be exact, really put me in a weird, manic, somewhat euphoric, but overly emotional mental space, like even more emotional than I usually am. And I kind of went with it. For fun thing, I felt better because of the pain lessening, but it was also kind of intense. It was intense on it, and then it was an intense kind of coming off of it, as I mentioned in the video. Yeah, and that's it for April. Um, the other thing, well, I guess I don't have it with me. I wanted to show you my, sort of what my new little notebook looks like right now, but I think I'll save that. And this will just be a short one, my April flip through, and I will see you soon. Hopefully this is gonna work out. Bye.